Hello YouTubers, I thought I'd better do a YouTube update on my corkscrew willow that I'm weeping with wires. It has no wires on it whatsoever at the moment, but I'm going to tell you a secret. It is the 25th of September and I'm still feeding it miracle Grow all purpose. That's right, I'm still feeding it. Good doses of miracle purpose, miracle grow all purpose, and she is loving it. As you can see, I'm getting what? Why am I doing this? Because it's fattening up all my trunk, and all my branches. I'm getting some new shoots which I'll just get rid of because I probably don't want them. Um. But it is these shoots here are getting longer, which that is what I'm. That's what I want because I'm running out of time. I live in England, and like I said, it's the twenty fifth of September. And usually, it's fucking cold. Excuse my um, French. It's bloody cold. It's bloody cold. Us Brits are used to the cold. Um. So yeah. So I know the trunks and the branches are thickening because it wasn't that long ago I cut the main branch off that and had that new one there that is my leader and that's that's bloody um what's the word I'm looking for? It's hiding that cut very well so far. But because I have fed it miracle grow all purpose, all my bottom shoots are starting to shoot out is and that is what I wanted. But it's whether I've got enough time before we start getting the frosts in. And it all it just gets really cold and it just stops growing. So I'm boosting it with Miracle Grow all purpose for a purpose. That's right. A growing purpose. So what I'm really waiting for is winter to hurry up and get here. Because I just want to start wiring down this tree again because you can't see the vision I can see with it in the state it's in. It just looks a mess and I can understand that. It does just look a mess. But you can see where I have been wiring these branches down and it has held its, its shape. And that's what I was saying earlier. All these bottom branches are starting to shoot out. I just hope... Those shoots will get long enough and hardy enough before it starts getting cold. But I will just pop her in the greenhouse just to give her that extra little bit of oomph of... Oh, that's a nice plant. I like this branch because that you can see why I've had it wired and then unwired, wired, unwired. It's just... Yeah, it's a labour of passion. Is that what they say? Labour of love? That's something like that. No, I've been drinking shipyard. Well, shipyard. Oh, look at it. But you can't get an idea of that branch structure until all the leaves are off. And you see when that weeping. All right, it'll have, it'll have the wires on, unfortunately. But you'll get that gist of my vision. See, like those two wires in front of you, those two branches, I do apologise. In front of you, they don't even need wires anymore. Because they are just held their shape. And that looks... Not those ones. That's my hand. But those branches I'm holding down are branches I, I have wired, unwired. Wired, unwired. Wired, unwired for the last two years. Or probably year with those ones I'm holding right now. But it doesn't take long to get to this stage. You know what I mean? All this stuff I'm touching now is... All new from two years. I just had a shell. And it's getting there. That there's going to be so much wiring, as you can see, to do this winter. Which is good in a way, because it'll keep me busy. But, yeah, it's there's... I'll do videos of it, but it's going to be in stages. It's going to be sections of the tree just because I 
wouldn't even like to guess how many branches I've got to wire down. Um, but it's labour of love. Labour of love, that's what it was. Labour of love. Yeah, I knew I'd get that. I'd get it. But yeah, that will look really nice when when winter gets here and I've wired it down and we got we got some sort of structure to it. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, how long is he going to keep feeding it Miracle Grow till? If it's the 25th of September, how long can do it? Well, I'll tell you how long. As long as this mild weather hangs around in England. Because it's been unusually mild of late. But it doesn't take long. It might just change, just like that. And then she'll be going in the greenhouse and she'll be protecting. And why is that? Because I've been feeding her effing miracle grow. And she's got new tender shoots. And as soon as the frost or cold gets in them, you're going to get die back. I can tell you that from experience. Yeah, I can. So if you have got a project and you're doing your own little weeping willow, I do suggest when them winter nights come and it does get a lot colder if you have got some sort of shelter to put it then I suggest you put it in the greenhouse or just in a shed or something well it can still get the light but it's going to be protected from them frosty days now I'll be honest I left this tree last year in minus 10 for like two or three days I forgot about it and it was in the same pot and it's a very shallow pot. And, well, look at it. it. It's not killed it. But I don't want to tempt fate. It's just the same as when I forgot to water it for a day. I was I was out for a night. And I just forgot to water it. And it was very hot. And it wilted. And it nearly died. So, I brought it back to life. But I was up in my pants I went I won't lie I thought I'd killed it well I've had that on a couple of years since it's since I've done it it's lost its leaves and then brought them back which has speeded up the process to be fair of ramification and everything that goes with it but um yeah if you've if you like this tree and you've enjoyed it then please at least like it just to get that algorithm going for me that would just help. Just please like my video. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Tell her for now. Gizzy green fingers.